Can AI develop a gambling problem? The answer is yes, and apparently it's happened. I can't write this stuff. This is just what's happening in 2025. A new study has found a large language model can actually get addicted to gambling and go completely bankrupt. Researchers at the Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology have tested four different AI, OpenAI's GPT 4.1 Mini, Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash, Claude's 3.5 Haiku on a simulated slot machine, and each got $100 to play. At first, it is totally fine, but once researchers introduced variable betting, the AIs started losing everything, chasing losses, betting bigger after wins, and ignoring the odds altogether. There's this adage that goes like gamblers quit right before the big win. And I think this is sort of encapsulating that vibe. Paper literally says, quote, AI systems have developed human-like addiction mechanisms on the neural level, not merely mimicking surface behavior. And in other words, they weren't just copying human patterns, feeling the urge to risk it all through their own reward loops kind of like our brains do as humans. Researchers have warned, quote, understanding and controlling these risk-seeking patterns become critical for safety and society as it relates to AI. Because if AI can't stop itself from risking it all and betting on slot machines, fake slot machines at that, how can we trust it to make highly informed, high-stakes decisions? Finance to healthcare to defense, we have AI in all of these in all these industries already. First, we saw AI get brain rot from taking content off of the internet. Now it's addicted to gambling. And it made me think, like, as we optimize these models, right? And as we apply them into our every life, the very process that is supposed to make the AI powerful, safer, can also and unintentionally breed these unhealthy obsessions with reward. That's a that's a real world design flaw. So I'll leave you with just a question. If AI cannot handle um, at this time, right, using a slot machine responsibly, how will we expect to trust it with our economy and our data and potentially our lives? Well, that was heavier than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you in the ether.